Hi, this is Vijay Gangwani and I'm back again to talk about silver, but this time with a change. Where to buy from, where not to buy from and what not to do. Remember, wherever there is money, there is always the chance of a fraud. Somebody or the other wants to take a part of your money or take part in the action without actually putting in any kind of an investment or a risk. So when you're buying silver or gold for that matter, you can either buy from Zaveri Bazaar from a, a, a refiner who has his own bhatti as it is called in local parlance, who hallmarks these bars for you with his marking and weight, or you can buy from a bank. The problem with buying from a bank is that a bank as per Banking Regulations Act is allowed to sell you bullion but it cannot buy it back. So you are stuck with the gold or silver that you have bought from a bank and it is stamped with the bank's logo. So when you try to offload it in Zaveri Bazaar, you will get a lower price because the refiner will first have to melt it and put his own logo. In that case, you bear the melting charges. This is similar to paying making charges on jewelry, which you melt old jewelry and then make new one out of it. The other aspect that I'm talking about is fraud. So when you buy from a bank, you're assured of genuine quality and you get good stuff for your money. But in the case of a fraud, take the example of this big silver brick. This is a small brick. Let us assume this is made of stainless steel. What if this was not exactly 100% silver, but it contained this small brick of steel within it so that the weight would say one kilo, but this 250 grams of steel would actually mean that you're buying nothing more than 750 grams of silver. If you were to go to Zaveri Bazaar, to get this silver tested, the traditional rub test, there is a black color oval stone on which your jeweler rubs the jewelry or the gold or silver bar and ascertains how pure it is at the surface. Now that would pass the master and come across as genuine stuff. But upon melting, your buyer would realize that there was this piece of steel within it. He would immediately call you and tell you to take back your material. The only way you can ascertain whether the silver or gold bars that you're buying is genuine is to therefore get it electronically tested. It's like an x-ray machine, not very different from what you do at the airports. The gold or silver bar is subjected to sound waves and each metal having a different composition will therefore have a separate reading. This is the only foolproof method of you finding out whether the gold or silver bars that you're buying is the genuine stuff. Costs a little extra, but gives you peace of mind and good sleep at night. So when you're spending money, make sure you ascertain the purity, not just by the rub test, but also get your stuff electronically tested. And like I said, buying from the bank is basically ensuring that you pay a higher price because the bank selling rate is always higher and when you try to sell it off you are susceptible to paying melting charges. Take care, buy the right stuff and in my next video watch out for how and where to buy gold from and what not to do while buying gold. Till then all the best, have a profitable day.